one call to order the Monday, October 21st meeting of the Arlington Redevelopment Board recorded by ACMI. Thank you for coming out tonight for what's going to be a brief meeting, I think, I hope. Uh, first up, we have the Housing Corporation of Arlington represented by Pam Hallett. Pam, come on up. Uh, <clears throat> Pam is seeking an extension to the special permit request uh, on dockets number 3519 and 3520. We're not reopening the special permit hearing or public comment tonight. Uh, this is just a request for an extension. Um, I'll let you speak, but given everything that HCA does for the town, I'm inclined to recommend that we approve that. Thank you. Thank you. I'm Pam Hallett with the Housing Corporation of Arlington. Um, we are into our closing phase. Um, we, but one never knows. And we looked at the date that these expire, and it's early December. And I thought, wouldn't that be horrible <laughs> if we get to the final week in November and we could be inching over that first week in December for closing and I would have to at that point be panic stricken and have to come back and delay closing to get the extension. So we really are doing this as a way to prevent me from having panic <laughs> and, and as a way to prevent just um, uh, sort of putting off the closing for another week or two to wrap this up. We also need the permit in order to close and we're not going to be able to get the permit if it's about to expire or ex it expires. I know, uh, I know uh, Mike well enough to say that he will say, it's expired Pam, you gotta, you gotta go get it extended. So we've asked it to be extended. You know, Aaron and Jenny and I talked about how long, you know, it could be a month, but why don't we just say six months just to say it? And so it's done and we don't have to worry about it. That's really why I'm here. Okay. Great. Questions? Anyone? Okay. Go ahead, David. You go first. Your hand was up first. <coughs> um, well, I'm also, as you know, very supportive yes. of the project. Mm -hmm. And I know you've been working diligently to secure your financing mm -hmm. and um, that that it's a complicated project with complicated financing mm -hmm. and these things take time. Um, I just want to make sure that we um, uh, do this correctly procedurally. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, I haven't been involved in one where we've done, had to extend a special permit previously. So this is new to me. And uh, I was looking at the zoning bylaw uh, 3.3 point five mm -hmm. B mm -hmm. which relates to this and um, uh, it does talk about um, granting extensions um, uh, for good cause mm -hmm. and um, I, I just wasn't clear exactly mm -hmm. what what that means is there is there a standard that we have to consider uh, or or can we just make a decision that there's good cause and 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 grant the extension? <laughs> I've had a conversation with Jean about this briefly before <laughs> the meeting, actually. Was that also question. your question, Jean? And, uh, and, or you something know, similar? So when we were doing recodification, as you know, a lot of the things, these citations in the zoning bylaw are directly from 40A. Um, they're just sort of a restating of what's in mm -hmm. Mass General Law. However, in this particular case, there's not exactly a clear understanding of what good cause means. It's actually in quotes. <laughs> so um, I think that there would be a bad reason to do something. You know, if, a, if there might be something bad that is happening with a site, perhaps, and maybe there's a reason that a city or town would not want to extend a special permit for certain, for other reasons. Um, there's not a particular standard, nor is it required for you to have for the applicant or the, the petitioner in this case to request us to make a determination or have any sort of determination of what exactly constitutes a good cause. So in this case, it's simply she's returning to the Special Permit Granting Authority, and in this case it's the ARB, not the ZBA, but it could also happen with the ZBA. And you know, respectfully requesting that the time be extended based upon the circumstances that have been presented to you this evening and also in the letter or letters that have been provided. Beyond mm -hmm. that, you could ask additional questions if you have, uh, you know, 
concerns or other thoughts about what will happen between now and the time that things are permitted or what happened for the since the time that the permit was actually granted i think that might be the bigger question so yeah, can, can i sort of weigh in a little bit and, yep and so has also i been exploring this <laughs> i i looked up 40a to see if it shed any light on this and it has the exact same wording <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> word for word the right, same wording right, which yes. which is okay because it's nice when our bylaws track it exactly, <laughs> even if it's vague. So it sort of seems to me, and I don't know, and I didn't have a chance to do more research, but it sort of seems to me that I'd be interested in what was the good cause for not, for having to come back? You know, what prevented you from having used the permit already? and completed the project. Mm -hmm. So so I would like us to have on the record what is the good cause for that. And second is, what is the good cause for needing the extra six months? So it's two different good causes. Good cause for not having completed within three years and good cause for needing the extra six months. Your letter described why you need the extra six months, which is fine and I think adding more affordable housing is a definite good cause in Arlington. But what we don't have on the record, what I'd like to hear is the good why? cause of why. It took three years to yes, get here. Yes, exactly. Okay. Um, so unfortunately, the way affordable housing is funded, you have to have all of your zoning in place to even apply to the state. So we had to do that, <coughs> which is why we got it three years ago. We then applied, and with the kind of um, deluge of, of applications that go in, um, the first one was turned down because 84 other organizations put in applications. They only had enough to fund 29, and so they had not seen ours before, so we automatically got kicked out. That's sort of how they do things. First time through, you don't get funded. Second time, um, <coughs> we went in, and um, we were very close, but we didn't get in within those under 30 groups. It was, you know, very close. And I pulled together an entire conversation of all the lenders with the town and Malden Redevelopment, because honestly, the state said the first time, I don't believe that there's $3 million that's committed locally. I don't believe that, Pam. I'm like, excuse me, I can't lie on this application. So second round, I pulled together an entire conference call. And even at that point, they said to who was now, then a Laura Wiener, Laura, I want that on writing from the town, the manager, town manager. And Laura's like, okay, fine. They're like, what? So they really didn't believe because towns don't typically support the applications to this kind of amazing amount of money. And so when we finally got there, now they're all so excited and every, every information session I go to, they go, and Arlington now, you know, goes $3 million. You know, it's the rest of you who now need to step up. So that's good for us, but it took us a long time to get there because they didn't believe it. So how did taking, what is it, two extra years to get the funding? Was that what it was? Well, it's they only have one round a year. Mm -hmm. So you go in the first round, you get kicked out. You go in the second round, you get kicked out. You go in the third round, and you get it. So it took but that's, three years to get the funding, yeah. and that's the good cause for needing the extension that's right. why you didn't. Get, it, get it done within three years. And without the state funding, the project would not Oh, pass. absolutely not, right. Okay. We needed the... the 9% low-income housing tax credits and the investors in, yeah. Okay. I don't know the rest of you. That sounds like a good cause to me. I agree. Mm -hmm. I agree. I agree. Okay. So, um, <coughs> seeing that there are no other questions, as there are, I think I would move to uh, approve the extension of special permit number 3519, 19R Park Ave, Arlington, for six months from December 5th, 2019. The extension the of extension. the special permit. Yeah. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 And then I would uh, move that special permit number 3520 for 117 Broadway be extended for six months from December 1st, 2019. 
So motioned. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 All set. Thank you Thanks all there. very much. Yeah. All right. And Gene, if you would like to see our closing checklist, I'd be happy to share. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't doubt what you said. I just think we needed to hear it. Oh, I have no problem at all. Thank you very much. Thank you, ma'am. Take care. All right. Any members of the public wish to be heard in open forum? Mr. I guess that would be me. Yep. Go ahead. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Don Seltzer, Irving Street. Uh, I just have a few comments about the board meeting the last one two weeks ago. Uh, I thought it was a very good meeting. Uh, we had a lot of people talking about housing situation from different viewpoints. Uh, our town manager spoke of it as a first step in broader community involvement going forward. And I think most of the people who left that meeting had a very good feeling about it. And fortunately, that didn't last very long, less than 24 hours. The first action of the next step forward turned out to be killing off the residential study group the very next day. I'm extremely disappointed in those town officials who um, took this ill-considered unilateral action, and I think it was taking two steps back from where we were. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Any other comments? business to attend to. Just one quick thing. I circulated uh, in a flyer format. The um, We've been working with a, a MIT practicum uh, student group who have been looking at Broadway, as in Broadway from the Somerville border to um, a little past Warren Street. And uh, they're going to be having a community planning workshop on October 28th, next Monday, at the Hardy School at 7. Um, they're also going to be coming to the to the Redevelopment Board meeting on December 4th um, to share their final presentation with you. So we'll have that scheduled. But if anybody is available to attend this preliminary presentation and then also a sort of workshop so people can actually uh, provide some feedback to the students, that would be very welcomed. So. Yeah, I'd like to go. Good. Good. I hope to see you there. And we're hoping that ACMI is going to record it, but um, still working on those details. There's a lot of meetings happening that evening, unfortunately. We had actually really hoped to be at Thompson School. That would have been ideal, and then the Fox Library, but there's just a lot of competing things, including pre, you know, precinct <coughs> meetings and all sorts of stuff. <coughs> Students have a finite semester, and once you plan a date on their calendar, mm -hmm. it's pretty hard to walk back from that. Mm -hmm. um, we did actually try to, yeah. but it's, it's proved proven to be challenging, so we decided yeah. to keep the date. I may I may be able to attend that. Okay. Great. Good. Yeah, me too. Thanks. Well, it'll be a posted meeting, so. So we all go. No, no worries, however many <laughs> of you want to attend. Yeah. Well, we can all attend without having to do this. Okay. So any other comments, questions, concerns, anything? Right. What's coming up in the next couple of meetings? The next meeting is uh, November 4th, and CVS is coming back, um, because that was the date that we continued it to. Um, I think we are going to announce the uh, release of the bike parking guide, uh, save any lingering comments that we are still getting from a couple of people, um, I'm looking at including it. David. <laughs> um, and then I think I have a couple of other things list lined up on the agenda that I'm not remembering offhand. But okay. um, primarily, CBS is coming back. Okay. And then uh, November 19th, I think, is the meeting after that. That one will involve another, a newer hearing. There's two hearings, I believe, that evening. Eight, so 18th. 18th, sorry. That hotel is not coming back till? December 21st. Or, sorry, I don't have my calendar with me, but um, the, the second meeting in December. December 16th. 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 Okay. It's okay. a good thing that I don't have to remember these days. <laughs> <Yes. laughs> okay. No, they are they're posted meetings, so. Okay. 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 Good. And December 4th is when the students will be here. Good. All right. Okay. Motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye.